Hello, welcome back again to Professional English One. My name is Marco Mesa and the topic today is adverbs of degree. The adverbs of degree are going to be studied today as a definition. We, we are going to define them and some structures, the, what is the usage and exercise some what we have already known. Okay, adverbs of degree will talk about the intensity of something. Let's uh, talk about temperature. The freezing point zero and the boiling point 100 Celsius degrees. Okay, let's divide the scale in two parts, cold and hot. We can say extremely hot when it's near freezing or fairly cold when it's almost hot. And between them we can say very cold, cold, rather cold or fairly cold as we said. And the same with hot. When it's almost cold, we say fairly cold, rather hot, more hot, hot, very hot, and extremely hot, near the boiling point. And we can say that hot and cold are gradable, gradable adjectives, okay? But boiling point is non-gradable and freezing point is also non-gradable because it has no different intensity. It boils or it just freezes. Okay. Um, adversal degree will answer the questions of how much. From not very to extremely. Not very, it's going to be the slowest, the lightest, the lightest, lightest, sorry, um, shortest, and etc. Okay, and extremely is the highest uh, possibility. Really pretty, rather a lot are uh, medium possibilities also of degree, intensities of something. Not very easy, a lot uh, difficult, rather expensive, very beautiful, really difficult and extremely hot, for example. Okay, an adverb of degree is used to discuss the degree or intensity of an adjective, an action, or another adverb. An action that is normally expressed by a verb. Examples are very wet, already finished, too slowly. Very is the adverb of degree, wet is the adjective, finished also is an adjective, and slowly is another adverb. Okay? As we said, the adverbs can modify verbs, adjectives, nouns, and other adverbs. Some examples of adverbs of degree are the weather was extremely dry, extremely, as we see, as we have seen, is a very high degree intensity. So extremely dry means that the, the dryness is too high. The bus will be absolutely crowded. Absolutely is also giving us a very high intensity. Too many people. Adverbs of degree normally go before the adjective, the adverb or the verb that they modify. In, in some cases, there are some exceptions. We are going to see through the lesson. The meal was very spicy and too hot. In this case, spicy and hot are the adjectives and very and hot are the adverbs of degree. As you can see, very and hot are before the adjective. Okay, the questions that could identify this are how spicy was the meal or how hot was the meal. Okay, uh, some examples of adverbs of degree are too enough, very and extremely. We have already seen that in previous slides. When an uh, uh, adverb of degree modifies a verb, it generally modifies the intensity of the action that tells us how much. Okay? The intensity of the, action will tell the, of the action will tell us how much. He talks excessively all the time. He rather loves his audiences. He hardly stops to breathe. Okay, tox in this case is the verb and excessively is modifying it 
and as you can see it's after the verb but in the second and third examples he rather loves or he hardly stops the adverb of degree goes before the verb when an adverb of degree modifies an adverb it's mo it modifies the intensity of the adverb he talks extremely fast he communicates rather well he reasons very quickly fast well and quickly are the adverbs that are modified and the adverbs of degree that modify uh, these uh, adverbs are extremely rather and very an adjective can also be modified by an adverb of degree he is extremely talkative he is rather attractive his ratings are very high talkative attractive and high are adjectives extremely rather and very are the adverbs of degree uh, an, object, an adverb of degree will normally go before the adjective or adverb that is modified and also before the main verb the weather was extremely cold cold is the adjective he was just leaving he has almost finished in the first sentence we have the verb to be and leaving is the main verb the verb to be is acting in this case as a helping verb that, e that helps uh, the other verb to give the, the quantity of the action the, the, um, uh, excuse me, the coherence of the action in the second example she has almost finished finished is an, um, the past participle form of the verb finish and has is again the auxiliary has almost finished and as you can see in both cases we have just and almost before the main verb she doesn't quite know what she'll do after university quite is before the main verb completely exhausted they are completely exhausted from the trip they are completely exhausted from the trip completely goes before the verb uh, sorry in this case after the verb to be and before the ad adjective it modifies completely exhausted I am too tired to go out tonight. Again, too is before the adjective tire. He hardly noticed that he what she was saying. Okay? Hardly modifies the verb noticed. Okay. Please identify the adverbs. There were almost they were almost finished. Finished is the adjective almost is the adverb. This cake is absolutely wonderful. Wonderful is the adjective, the adverb is absolutely. In the third example, freezing and above are modified by barely. Above is an adverb and barely is the modifying adverb of the degree. Our driveway is completely frozen. Frozen is the adjective and completely is the adverb. We felt incredibly lucky after winning tickets to the World Championship. Okay, incredibly is the adverb of degree and lucky is the adjective. My teacher is terribly upset today. Upset is the adjective and terribly is the adverb. Okay, uh, the cloth was really wet. Good is not an adjective and really is the adverb of degree. The garden is very and enough are adverbs of degree, but very is what suits best in this case. I am just and two is the answer because hardly exhausted is not correct. Is this suitcase light and enough is the answer because almost does not make sense in this case. Okay? This is an 
Okay, this and the article and is giving us the answer. An extremely complicated issue because and so does not work. The teacher is enough respected, incorrect, greatly respected is correct. We should eat a perfectly balanced diet, makes sense. So, balanced diet doesn't make sense. So, the answer is A. In this example, we need to do a question using the interrogative word what. We have the verb to be and the verb to be goes before the subject. But, in this case, what asks for the subject. So, we need to use this as a guide to make the interrogative question. What were almost finished? Yes, because we are, we are asking about the subject and the subject does not appear in the question. The cake is too sweet. Okay, we have already seen examples of this and the answer is how sweet is the cake? Remember that the verb to be goes before the subject. How sweet is this cake? The answer is too sweet. In number nine, we have how... Okay, let's analyze the, the sentence. The road was barely trackable. Trackable is the adjective and barely is the adverb of uh, degree. So, how trackable was the road is a correct answer. But also, we can say how was the road, but if we want to keep coherence about the first sentence, we should make the first option. How trackable was the road? Number 10, let's see. How is our driveway? Yes, because a uh, block it is not really... Uh, it would be very easy to understand. Okay, again, we felt incredibly lucky after winning 23rd tickets to the World Cup last week. When did we feel incredibly lucky? Okay, because when is asking for a time, and the time is uh, to the World Cup last week, last week, to the World Cup last week. Okay, another possibility is when did we feel incredibly lucky after winning 23 tickets to the World Cup? But it's not that correct, so please stick to the example that is on the screen. My teacher is terribly upset today. How upset is my teacher or how is my teacher? Okay? She does not quite know what she will do after university. Simple question. In simple questions, we do not use interrogative words because the answer could be yes or no. Okay. We have two possibilities. One, is to maintain the negative form and we will say, does she not quite know what she will do after university? Remember, the particle not remains in its place. This is very formal English and that's the way that is recommended. Another possibility is that she quite know what she will do after university, but it, it's not maintaining the coherence with the, f the uh, affirmative sentence. Does she not quite know what she will do after university? Remember, we have explained this in previous lessons. They are completely exhausted from the trip. How exhausted are they from the trip? Or how are they from the trip? Okay. I'm too tired to go out tonight. How? Obviously, how tired am I to go out tonight? Remember, we are, no, we are not um, making dialogues. We are doing grammar. 
he hardly noticed what she was saying. What is past tense? We use the auxiliary. What she? What did he hardly noticed? The answer is very obvious. What she was saying. Thank you very much, and we'll be meeting next time.